Oh, hello, every one of you. I wish you a really Merry Christmas from your one and only I get online. But yeah, I'm I get online. Wait, wait, you understand me? Well, yeah. Today I'm gonna bring you a replay of me playing medieval Total War Britannia. Because Britannia is fucking awesome. Oh yeah, I, I like the Irish. And yeah, this is gonna be a siege. And yeah, I'm just placing out my troops right now. So I'm just gonna tell you a little short about this match. Yeah, I'm uh, the Irish. And I'm in this fortress. It's three fortress. So it's not that advanced. Some archers in these towers and two gates. And I'm gonna meet one and two and three. Actually, very hard bots. It's the hardest bot that I could bring. And yeah. Th uh, you might see this guy has exactly the same amount of troops that I got in this base. And then you can see it's two more. So yeah, I am outnumbered almost one to three. Yeah, every of my troops need to kill free. Yeah, you understand it. So, yeah. Well, I'm, yeah, exactly like I said. When I, while I'm placing out the troops, let me just tell you. I'm not gonna go through the rules. Like, you need to do that and that and that will happen. I will just tell you a little short because you need to know this. If you kill a general, that's good. And if your general dies, that's not good. And that because if the general dies the troops will lose morale and morale is made yeah you know it lifts their hope and if they not have, if they don't have any hope they will run away and if they run away they would not fight and if they're not fighting they will not kill people and if they don't if they don't will yeah you understand if they ain't killing people that isn't good in a killing game. So let's just check out what I'm having. I'm having some infantry, some heavy swordmen, and I'm also having some spearmen, and I'm having archers. Here's my general. Oh god, he's sexy. The other guys have shield. He has a f nice plate on his. Well, let's just go to the next. Yeah, some more. I have some swordmen, archers there, some heavy cavalry placed on tactical points to go around here and charge the both gates. Just reinforce pretty fast and here's some heavy swordmen too and also some archers and some more heavy infantry and all that kind of stuff. And then let's check on my computer friends. I think I told you that. They have some heavy cavalry and also some heavy infantry here. Oh, it's many. Let's just see. These guys have a lot of pikes. This reminds me of Isengard, you know, when the yeah, yeah, I don't need to. And also some archers and some more. And they have one, two. I actually got them. I believe four rams, but I just use one each because, as you might see, my archer are not doing a crap on them. You see the damage, and they have shot about five or six volleys on them. So yeah, and some more heavy cavalry and some really heavy cavalry with the general. I just felt like that would be harder, and then some heavy swordsmen. And these guys are almost exactly this, uh, you know, one of these armies uh, should kill, should be able to kill one of these. So yeah, Damn them all. yeah, and now the they've broken the gate. Gates. So let's go to the battle, I don't need to give you the details. So what I thought was that, as you might see, they have a lot of cavalry in the front, so, but at first they want to charging with the infantry so I put the infantry and I made them charge actually made them run into it as you might see and then I thought that the cavalry will charge into my 
so they will pretty much go into the spearman so uh, on the exact time and I thought that oh, holy shit there are many so I send in one more troop and th this wasn't the reinforcement it wasn't my fault they felt like dying actually uh, I, th these guys were supposed to be here and shoot on them but the AI the told them to charge into the troops and uh, I noticed it and I tried to bring them back, but they didn't want to listen to me because they wanted to die or they thought that the general was right here. And that died. That was good for me, really good, because you understand the moral rundown, and this is they are running. I should explain it better than this is running. I just try to say words. If they are like this, they are running, as you might see. And they can come back. We could just look at them before they are broken the other gate. As you might see, they are running, and now they feel like this is just stupid. C couldn't we Down just go all. back? Wait, the enemy's ram shut up. Gates. Yeah, I know they are through the gate. The gate is open. Yeah, and I just feel like this is just stupid. We should we go back? Yeah, yeah. O okay, and then they go back. But it helped me a lot because, as you might see, I'm pushing them out of the castle. So, I just need to tell you that I had two things that I thought. First, kill all the troops. And then I thought, it's a lot of them. Couldn't I just hold them back until the time is up and then I will win automatically? Uh, so I just tried to hold them back. And now, as you might see, my stupid archers felt like charging again. And as you might see here too, it's a lot of fucking guys here. And uh, some of them here is actually really scared because it's a lot of troops that is fighting and killing. And also, no, my guys are actually upgraded a bit because I give the same amount of money to... No, I give them, uh, like, if I got 10,000, they got 20,000 almost, I think... Yeah, I got 20,000, they got 25, or yeah, I believe something like that. So they have a lot, they have actually a lot more money. That's almost an whole army if you put it in the right places. So I could upgrade, I could make some upgrades to mine, make them a little more, bit more experienced. Well, they were stupid. Shot for my own. Well, they have 200 soldiers, stupid. But yeah, then I saw that they were actually pushing into this, so I thought that some spearmen I sent in about 120 and then actually six in the front. And uh, they were actually charging to still. And soon I realized that they are actually pushing into the middle. And then I thought to myself, what could I do to stop it? So. I actually took my cavalry and placed them on the hill if I missed it and then waited and charged. <laughs> I, I am not supposed to tell you that but I might miss it because this is actually a really nice fight. It's so bloody and people are dying everywhere. People die everywhere. And my archers here are actually doing a pretty nice job and I felt like if they are gonna break into this, they will charge into my uh, discipline archers that is not running into the army and die. So I thought that I could just place these here. The general don't need any more defense. And I think I forgot about these troops. Uh, in one uh, one time in this battle, I they are actually shooting. Yeah, I draw them back. Uh, I was like going around and be like, where the fuck is my troops? And then I realized that uh, uh, almost everyone was gone. But yeah, as you might see, I missed this. Moment. So this was actually just to win time or get a really nice charge. But as you might see, they are spearmen. Horses against spears, not a good idea. Sorry. Oh. I'm getting really tired. But yeah. So, I saw that they were actually just going through this 
So I took the spearmen here, and I placed them there, and then and I put them here. And uh, that was just a bad idea because they had gone too far by then. But as you might see, this is not looking good. But yeah, it's not that many troops actually. As you might see, here's mine, and they are hacking down on the troops. And that's a really cool way to die. But yeah, he didn't. Uh, well, 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 uh, but as you might see, they are actually owning them and the enemy helping. Are badly bloodied. They have Look. lost half their men. <laughs> but yeah, the the sides here made me surround them actually, and that made them lose a lot of morale. And as I told you, morale is good. So I felt like if I shot them in the side, and I could go back, and I could also hold this because, as you might see, I'm. I actually Only made everyone here run, so I felt like I could take some heavy infantry and hold them in the middle. Because that's the thing I also need to tell you that if they are in the middle and I don't fighting them back, they will win in three minutes. And that's why I was like, I need to hold the middle. I need to take them. So I took general army and also the biggest and most experienced army that I could find we just throw them back because as you might see I still have some troops here and uh, I felt like uh, this side have actually made the right thing if you are f if you just forget about these fuckheads for a minute then you understand that yeah look this is just they are completely stupid look, look at him well, this will happen to every single one. I don't know where they took... Did they actually die? I just was like... No, I forget them. Fuck it. But yeah. After a while when I, as you might see, I'm pushing them back. And every single one of my troops are actually counting here. And then I shot them in the back. I don't actually know why. But... What the fuck? What are my guys doing? I believe the charge just because they thought it was fun. And then I actually draw them back pretty soon because I felt like I can I outflank them here, so I can just go around the back and charge them in the back. Yeah, that was right. It felt really wrong saying that, but yeah. To make it more clear, I was. Go I thought about our going. General has thrown that his wasn't life good. Away, and perhaps our but chances of victory I thought that I should probably just My try Lord, to go around and charge. Remains. And now I know uh, half my force actually was dead by now, or more. I believe it was more. I believe it was bugged. And actually, in you know percentage uh, of how many troops that have died for me and for them it was pretty close but they had more so my only hope was actually to make a mass runway and for that I needed to uh, Our men make the, the enemy morale general. really low Guard them well, and as you might see so the I took done. the general and that made many of them really scared and then I thought this is the moment that I'm waiting for that I wait for the old time. For the moment, the fortune of so battle I took my horsemen Let's pray it remains as and such. I charged them in the back. And as you might see, they are actually running pretty hard now. And if you then charge them in the back, it will... Yeah, they got really scared when they heard horses behind them. And then had troops surrounding them. If it wasn't for the horses that then... After the horses, they were surrounded and had no general. That made him cry like small Mighty babies. Lord above. As you might see, the uh, enemy general. you that know the feeling, you're running because you're on your way to die and then uh, the general dies too. And then I feel like the only way for me to win is to either way kill them, wait the time or make everyone run like small babies. And this is just bad. Look, I, I will place my bet that he won't die. And look, that was just stupid. It was like, oh, let's go. The Scottish people have really good spirits. 
Look, how our Look now they well, uh, uh, scared as fuck. They saw all these troops. But that was actually the thing that made me win almost because I haven't won yet. But I could just see, as you might see, I'm gonna win because I have almost the same amount of troops that, that they have. And mine are better. Not costing more, they are just better. Uh, because I have killed more in cost, because you chose troops in cost. But yeah, look at the f look at the body. You can just see. Look here, and if you look here, this is just sick. I wonder what the cleaning guy are gonna say when they, he will walk back here. No, he will walk around the corner and then look here and be like, "Oh hell no, I'm not cleaning this up." But yeah, as you might see, my army is charging, make them scared. I'm holding this port, actually, and uh, my king died, that was a little sad, but who you know? And who the fuck is this? This is actually my troops, yet yeah, that was very... Uh, I had too good macro in this game, I don't even know what I did. Our men are winning the battle. <laughs> this is just a... Oh my god, this is a good end screen. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, that was actually the thing. The I should just make this more clear, I'm too tired for this. Uh, th this was the replay uh, of me beating three very hard vaults with outnumbering and all that kind of stuff. Tell me if you want to see more and if you want to see a more closer ba match because I w felt like I should give them more money. Let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> If you have liked this, you know what you are supposed to do. If you haven't liked it, yeah, you well, you know what you're supposed to do. If you want to see more, you know what you can do. I don't need to tell you. But if you want to leave a like, it would actually help me because then I know what videos I'm gonna do. So that's the only thing. And dislike is also good because then I know what I don't need to do. Or in the way, but yeah. This is one of my replays I'm actually gonna do more of these I think because they are really fun to do and also really fun to see what, what kind of mistakes and what I did wrong that was the same thing oh come on what <laughs> the things I did right or wrong so yeah hope you like this and uh, yeah have a really good end of this year if you and I will see you after the new year if but if you liked this and want to see more then you will see me before the next year because I'm gonna put out more and gonna put out more actually tomorrow I think so yeah thanks for me my name has been Agir Online and always remember it's all about the mustache